Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on adrenal disorders. Adrenal disorders refer to medical conditions that affect the adrenal glands, which are triangular-shaped glands located on top of each kidney. These glands play a crucial role in producing hormones that regulate various bodily functions, including metabolism, immune response, blood pressure, and the body's response to stress. Adrenal disorders can lead to an overproduction or underproduction of certain hormones, causing a range of symptoms and health issues. Adrenal glands are divided into cortex and medulla. For medulla, the commonest adrenal medullary tumor is a pheochromocytoma. Peak incidence at 30 to 50 years. Male to female ratio is 1 to 1. Derived from adrenal medullary chromaffin cells. 10 to 20 percent of cases are familial and associated with other conditions, such as MEN 2A, MEN 2B, neurofibromatosis, von hippel lindau syndrome, tuberous sclerosis, and Sturge-Weber syndrome. 10% are extra-adrenal associated with paraganglia. Clinical features include hypertension, pallor, headaches, sweating and nervousness, palpitations, and abdominal pain. They are occasionally malignant, curable cause of secondary hypertension, and laboratory diagnosis depends on elevated 24 hours urine vanillyl mandelic acid, VMA estimation. Next, for adrenal cortex. The adrenal cortex produces the following steroid hormones, glucocorticoids from zona fasciculata, mineralocorticoids from zona glomerulosa, and sex steroids from zona reticularis. The conditions are divided into hyperfunction and hypofunction of the cortex. Hyperfunction of the adrenal cortex produces generalized effects, the nature of which depends on whether it is glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids, or sex steroids that are produced in excess. First, Excess glucocorticoids causes Cushing's syndrome. Its causes include iatrogenic, due to therapeutic administration of glucocorticoids. Excess ACTH secretion from the pituitary gland. Adrenal cortical neoplasms. And ectopic ACTH secretion. These are the systemic features of Cushing's syndrome. Moon face. Buffalo hump. Central obesity. Avascular necrosis of bone. Stunted growth. Proximal myopathy. Hypertension. Peptic ulceration. Hyperglycemia menstrual disturbances, stria on the abdomen, acne, cataracts, osteoporosis causing pathological fractures, predisposition to infection, thinning of the hair, thinning of the skin, and psychosis. Second, excess mineralocorticoids causes hyperaldosteronism. Kahn's syndrome is a primary hyperaldosteronism. Occurs due to autonomous secretion of excess aldosterone, usually caused by an adenoma of the zona glomerulosa. Increased renal retention of sodium and water leads to hypertension. Potassium loss leads to muscular weakness and cardiac arrhythmias. Hypokalemia associated with metabolic alkalosis causing tetany and paresthesia. Diagnosis rests on raised plasma aldosterone while renin is low, whereas secondary hyperaldosteronism occurs when reduction in renal glomerular perfusion activates the renin angiotensin system. This stimulates aldosterone secretion in an attempt to correct renal glomerular perfusion. This is the commonest type of hyperaldosteronism. Aldosterone levels raised but are appropriate response to high renin levels. Third is the hypersecretion of sex steroids. Some adrenal cortical adenoma secrete sex steroids, most commonly androgens. Next we look at hypofunction of the adrenal cortex. Adrenocortical hypofunction can be primary, due to lesions within the adrenal gland are secondary, due to failure of ACTH secretion by the pituitary gland. Causes of chronic primary insufficiency include tuberculosis, autoimmune disease, amyloidosis, hemochromatosis, metastatic tumors, and atrophy due to prolonged steroid therapy. For acute insufficiency, waterhouse friederichsen syndrome is an acute hemorrhagic necrosis of the adrenals associated with meningococcal septicemia. Other acute septicemias, like gram-negative septicemia, may cause similar effects. This may be due to disseminated intravascular coagulation within the adrenal gland. Whereas chronic insufficiency like Addison's disease. Effects of chronic adrenal insufficiency include anorexia, weight loss, vomiting, weakness, lethargy, hypertension, skin pigmentation, hyponatremia with hyperkalemia, chronic dehydration, sexual dysfunction. During acute illnesses, patients may undergo an acute Addisonian crisis with vomiting, dehydration, electrolyte disturbances, and circulatory collapse. Plasma cortisol levels are low. Estimation of ACTH levels enables a distinction to be made between primary adrenocortical insufficiency, ACTH raised, and secondary insufficiency, ACTH low. Lastly, tumors of the adrenal cortex. 
include adenoma and carcinoma, functioning, adenoma cause Cushing syndrome or Kahn syndrome. Clinically unsuspected, non-functioning, adenoma may be found in about 2% of adult autopsies, or picked up incidentally on CT scans for other conditions. Carcinoma is rare, usually hormone secreting with a tendency to produce androgens, may be extremely large and exhibit invasive growth. That's all for this video. Thank you.